Hey everyone, Jason Hill here, and tonight I'm going to be taking my father-in-law's fresh garden tomatoes, which he jarred up, and we're going to turn this into a marinara sauce. It's really easy. Um, it's also known as a special tomato sauce in some Italian cookbooks. So let me show you what we're going to do. Okay, as you can see here, I have his jarred tomatoes. Um, you can always use fresh, but if you're going to use can, use an Italian plum or Roma canned tomato. I have a tablespoon of dried basil. You can always use fresh, but mine's not in season right now. Half an onion, one carrot. We're gonna use about a teaspoon of garlic shallot puree or uh, one clove of garlic. And then a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Okay, let's give a quick dice to the onion. Next, I just grab my cheese grater and shred the carrot up. Oh, just kidding. You ever grate your finger? It's always fun. Next, I'm going to preheat my pan on medium high heat. After about a minute, the pan's preheating. I'm going to drizzle in a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And then we're going to throw in the carrot and onion. I'm going to saute this until the onions are translucent. Some recipes call for celery. I try to keep it simple and just do carrot and onion. Okay, you can see the vegetables have started to cook down. At this point, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of garlic shallot puree. I'm going to let that cook for a couple minutes. All right, after about a total of five minutes, everything's cooked down. At this point, I would add my dried tablespoon of basil, but since my father-in-law jars his with basil in it, I'm not going to need to do that. And sometimes when you're buying canned tomatoes, be sure and look at the label. A lot of the plum or aroma tomatoes you purchase already have basil in it as well. So after a few minutes, it starts to boil. At this point, I'm going to sprinkle in the crushed red pepper. Put the lid on and turn it down to a simmer for 30 minutes. Okay, for the last five minutes, I'm going to remove the lid and just let it reduce a little bit more. All right, now I'm just going to transfer it to my food processor. If you don't have a food processor, a blender, would, a blender will work. I'm just going to pulse this for 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, after about 30 seconds, this is what you want it to look like. Okay, finally, we're gonna go ahead and season it with a little pinch of salt, kosher salt from the heavens. After I add the salt, I'm gonna stir it up, give it a little taste with my spoon, no double dipping. Hmm. You may find that you need to cut down on the acidity so I'm going to add about a teaspoon of sugar and mix that up real good one more time. Now I like to turn my sauce into what they call a pink sauce by adding maybe just a quarter cup of heavy cream. Yummy yum. All right, well, there you have it. Special tomato sauce, maybe you call it a marinara sauce or a pink sauce. Either way, it goes great with every type of pasta out there. And uh, for me, it's also my favorite with my eggplant Parmesan. Mm. So good, so simple. Thanks for tubing in. Okay, finally, we're gonna go ahead and Season it with a little pinch of salt, kosher salt from the heavens. I'll put this back on and hate this lid.